In this process simulator training video, we will show you how to use user distributions. To do this, we're starting with a model that we use in the advanced training class, where we have trucks that come to a loading dock here, and at the parking, they will order a random number of boxes to either dock A or to dock B. So if we look at the logic here, we can see that they're issuing an order statement, ordering boxes to dock A, then they just wait at this parking area um, for those boxes to be unloaded before they move on. And the same logic takes place at parking B. In this particular model though, all of the boxes that are coming into dock A and dock B are of the same type. We want to use a user-defined distribution as a lookup table to randomly assign attribute values to these boxes. To do that with here with Process Simulator, we now have a tab called User Distributions. User distributions act as a lookup table, where I can even call it that D lookup table. And we define that lookup table to have certain values returned. So if I call the lookup table, I can say 60% mm, of the time, I want it to return a value of 1. And maybe 40% of the time, we're going to have it return a value of 2. Process Simulator will add it up and make sure that it adds up to 100%. So anytime I call this lookup table, the way it's defined now, I will get a value of 1 or a value of 2. You can make a long list of whatever percentages you want to actually retrieve uh, different values. So for example, I could change this to say 25, and then I could say maybe 15% of the time I could get a value of 3. So I'll get one of these three values assigned um, anytime I pull a value from the lookup table. Now in this example, we're actually going to assign these values to an attribute. So let me just define a job type to be the name of the attribute. So let's come into doc A and make that assignment. We're going to start by doing it with the logic builder, and that will be an assignment. And we're going to assign that attribute, a job type, to be equal to a value from a user distribution. We've only defined one table in there, so we'll call that the DLOOKUP table. And here's a preview of what that logic looks like. My attribute will equal a value from the lookup table. Now I could just copy this and paste it in over here at doc B. But just for fun, we're going to come into doc B and we're going to assign it using freeform logic. If I were wanted to type this, I would just say a job type equals D lookup table. And that does the same thing, but just uses freeform logic to do it instead. Now once we've assigned these attributes to these different boxes as they come in, we we'll probably would have conditional logic downstream to treat the boxes differently based on this attribute value. So just to demonstrate that, let me just pull in, we'll just do a few different activities here, and we can have some conditional logic so that maybe when it comes to this activity, we'll have it do that one, conditional if a job type equals one. And then we will create another connector to this one, conditional a job type equals two. And we'll have another one over here to activity three. And again, that one's conditional with a job type equals three. So we have these three different, uh, nice routing arrows there, but we have our three different activities and we can have them routed there based on, on these conditional routes. Let me just quickly change the processing time on these. And in another video, we'll show you how to change the default process time for activities. So stay tuned for that one. Let me just route to exit here, route to exit here, and route to exit this way. So let's go ahead and run this model and see the results of what we've done here. So we should be able to see that percentage split going on. I'll speed this up. And as we just look at our on-screen stats, we should have the 60%, 25%, and 15% for the total exits. So we're, we're right in that ballpark here. And it appears as though our user-defined distribution table is working successfully. Thanks for joining us for this training video. Happy modeling.